Welcome friends to another session of the Silk Route to Excel at Work. The past few sessions we have been learning about the various functions in Excel and a few tips and tricks to get the best out of Excel. Thanks for being with me. Please inform your colleagues, friends to subscribe so that they, you, me can all excel at work friends welcome back in earlier session we saw the use of the first option argument in x lookup in this we will go with the second option argument of match mode match mode has got four options exact match which is zero zero means the default in x lookup the default is always exact match unlike in the v lookup where the default is an approximate match and then minus one the next option is an exact match or the next smaller item one the exact match the next larger item and two is a wild card character match to go to uh, or rather to exploit in the full powers of this we will slightly modify our data wherein we get an increasing or decreasing order of numbers I will now open a new worksheet this is the GPA grading, the grade point average for the Kendri Vidyalaya. The Kendri Vidyalaya, as I said earlier in the VLOOKUP sessions, is a chain of schools across India. And this is this grade, the marks range and the grade point. For this, if you recall earlier, we rearranged this to be useful for our uh, we lookup in next lookup we are doing the same thing this is the we lookup table this is the x lookup table based on the kv grade point average if you recollect in we lookup we reverse the order of marks wherein the 0 came first 23 33 43 and so on let me quickly look up the file with an idea of what I'm clear idea of what I'm trying to say yeah this is the KV grading this both remain the same this both are remain this remain the same and we modify the table to suit the wheel lookup and then we have we were sort of forced to reverse this order put it like this 0 is e2 23 on this we put this increasing order so as to suit we look up this obvious disadvantages has been removed in the x lookup here just copy this in the same sequence 93 83 onwards so when you are looking, we will see that A1, A2, B1, B2 and so on. Normally, students don't look up from the bottom. They see from the top. This is the XLOOKUP table based, based on the KV and GP. So A1 is 93 and above. So here, they have the marks. This is the grade. Grade is what we want to look up. So here you enter the marks, let us say it is 50, grade is X lookup, you search for 50 in this table E3 to E11, the return array you require both the grade that is A1 and the grade point that is G, so you look up G F3 to G11 and then if not found 
let us say enter correct marks and then what you need is the exact match or the next smaller item let us check one by one the exact match the default match I mean it says enter correct marks I just want to see the full error message this is how it comes let us sort of slightly increase this so we'll have a enter correct marks fine so we want 53 it is a c16 so we don't need exact match we need approximate match so we enter one which means if you see the minus one is the next exact match or next smaller item So if I enter 90 here, my grade is A2, that's exactly what we want. If it is 95, it's A1, it's 93, it's A1, it's 92, it's A2. So if it is 23, it is D2, if it is 22, it's E, if it is 0, it's still E. If it is minus one, which nobody normally gives, it still enter correct marks. So if it is hundred, it's A one, it's one not one, still A one. We just can't help anything giving more marks than hundred. You always in grade A one. You don't get anything more than A one. That means A star. It's not available. It's not a choice. So this is how you utilize the third option. Let us and with C2. To see other options of optional arguments using one and wild cards, we'll come to the next session. Hope you have learned something new or refreshed what you already know. Please subscribe and share this with your peers, friends and colleagues to help them, you and me to excel at work. Thank you for watching.